Hey guys, what is up? It's Mokozonki, and welcome to Castle Clash. So I have been kind of hesitant to record this particular game for a while, kind of because it's a, you know, free play MMO sort of game. Very similar to Cash of Clans, at least um, from the outside looking in. It looks similar, it's it's really not, once you actually get into the gameplay. Um, however, you know, I wasn't really sure what the reaction would be to recording a game such as this, I suppose. And so it took me a while to actually um, decide whether this was a good idea or not. But, uh, I have been someone that's played Cla Clash of Clans for a long time, uh, recently kind of not enjoying myself as much as I used to on there, just because, um, it, I've gotten to the stage later in the game, you know, where it takes like a week plus to upgrade any building, and it takes like, I don't know, at least several hours of farming to get enough resources to upgrade said building, and it's just, uh, not that fun when it's that grindy, at least. Um, also my Android phone can't really record and that's what I play Clash of Clans on. I don't really have access to an uh, iPhone or something or iPod that you could, or iPad I suppose, that you could record with. Also this game has kind of been my uh, my game of choice lately when it comes to um, games like this, the weight games or whatever you want to call them. So on the outset when you first start out it's similar to many other games of its ilk. Uh, you upgrade stuff, it costs gold and mana or gold and elixir if you want to call it that. And, um, you know, you can get resources from your collectors, although uh, it's very, very easy to raid in this game. One of the my personal favorite things about it is raiding doesn't necessarily take very long, um, and you can get resources really, really fast. So even if you are uh, with higher collectors, like even if you can have like up to a million gold in your collector, you can get that in like 20 minutes of raiding. Versus Clash of Clans where it takes hours. Um, so the main thing that you kind of want to focus on in this game is getting heroes. This is the entire point of the game, is really just heroes. Uh, it's all about the heroes, loving up the heroes, getting better heroes, getting heroes with really powerful abilities, um, and the troops and the uh, defenses are really not very important compared to it. Uh, you can level up your troops. I have a training center here and I will get the first upgrade for my guardians, which is just the base troops that you start out with, I guess the barbarians of this game. I will get this because you get an achievement for it and some free gems. Gems are extremely important, um, and uh, unlike many other games, there's actually ways to get gems without spending any money. Uh, you don't get a ton of them, but you will get enough to at least have a fighting chance in this game without spending a lot of money on it, real life money. I personally am not the kind of person who does spend money on games, so uh, I appreciated that quite a bit. So first of all, when you get into the game, you want to upgrade your town hall as much as possible. You want to get it up fast, and uh, you will have some additional buildings you can build here, which I won't be building, because every single building that you make uh, increases your might, and increasing your might means that when you raid people, you will come across more difficult bases, and you don't want to come across more difficult bases right away. Uh, you want to have easy bases, so it's really easy to level up your heroes, and so your heroes don't die, so you don't have to wait for them to revive. Also, we can go into the uh, free gems here, and there are, you can get five a day from the login reward, and you can get a daily reward as well, which uh, I will start out with my first hero for my daily reward as soon as I build a hero altar, which I'm going to have to wait for my town hall to upgrade first. Okay, and I am back. I just uh, waited, I believe, 10 minutes for the uh, town hall to upgrade. We will not be getting level 3 to level 4 yet, because first there's something that we need. We go into attack and we build a hero altar, so we'll be able to collect daily rewards after doing this, which is awesome. You get gems every day from the daily rewards, which is, uh, sometimes they're fairly generous. The first one I believe is 20, and then the second one is 20, and they go up to 50 sometimes, 50 for four days logged in in a row, 50 for seven days, um, and that's the main r way to get gems. So that works. Also, there's achievements. One is completed here, which is own two types of troops because I upgraded um, my guy here in the training center. I upgraded my guardian to level two, which unlocked the hunter, which is the primary force that I will be using for um, attacking and raiding and all that sort of stuff. So I'll start upgrading the hunter. You want to upgrade them because it increases the stats, makes them better. And as I said, you know, hunter is the main one I'm going to be rolling with and then I'll move on to uh, centaurs eventually depending on how long I play on this particular character and then I guess shotgun dwarfs at some point but um, this is my favorite skill tree to go down when it comes to troops and so I still have this um, gold storage upgrade and it's very important to upgrade the gold storages as soon as possible 
um, because you'll be getting a lot of gold from raiding and stuff so it's good to get that upgraded and uh, it is tempting to use gems on it to finish them off when you're just a measly low level and it's like oh it's only one gem but it's really better not to and just have some patience so anyway let's claim our first um, reward so we got a frost switch we got 500 these are called hero badges they're used to upgrade heroes later on and 20 gems and uh, you'll get hero badges from these daily rewards which really add up which is awesome because um, hero badges are kind of slow to get the normal way so that daily rewards is one of the best ways to get them so before we can actually use our hero we need to build a hero base so we can place the hero and use that to attack it only takes 10 seconds to build a level 1 hero base and then I'll be able to use my frost witch also I will be getting more heroes um, hopefully pretty soon by hiring them with gems I do also start out with an executioner because you get one hero for starting out with as well as starting out with uh, this slime here which is used to uh, upgrade hero skills but you don't want to use that on these crap heroes that I have at the start well frost switch is decent executioner is pretty bad in my opinion it depends on their talent uh, my frost switch has the berserk talent which is actually pretty good and my executioner has the revive uh, talent which is decent but um, these are actually really really good starting talents for uh, starting out the game but I will be starting out uh, with my frost switch on the hero base here until I reroll or try to roll for another hero which we'll get into soon as soon as I have enough gems to do that which is pretty much the only thing that you're going to be using gems on and there's not really a whole lot else that you want to use them on so I now put my uh, Frost Witch in the hero base and I will be able to attack with her. Um, I'll be able to raid, I'll be able to use her in the arena and stuff like that. So speaking of the arena, we will build an arena and I have to enter my name to do this. So hopefully this isn't taken. Fingers crossed. And uh, I guess it's not. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the arena is great because you can use that to get uh, hero badges every time you win an arena battle. You get 40 hero badges, I believe, starting out, and then even if you lose, you get like 5 or 6 hero badges, so it's decent. Again, hero badges will be really important later on, or honor badges, whatever you want to call them. Um, anyway, our arena is built, and uh, we don't have anything else that we particularly want to be building right now. Relic Hall is nice later on. Army camps can be nice later on. I don't want to build them yet, and the reason for that is because that will increase my might. I also will want to be building watchtowers later on. Uh, which will make defending my base easier. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a raid. So the first thing before we actually raid is I'm going to train up some um, guardians here because that is going to make uh, the raiding go a little bit more smoothly since I won't just be sending my hero out all by herself. Also, I will be upgrading to the next town hall level, town hall level 4, which will unlock a second hero base. Um, I'll continue... Um, I will continue unlocking hero bases as I level up my town hall until I have five of them and then the sixth hero base is unlocked like end game. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that yet but you will be basically having five hero bases uh, as you first get started into the game. That will take half an hour so that's going to take a while. I As soon as my troops will be trained I'll be ready to fight and uh, then we can start raiding. Okay so my troops aren't quite trained yet but I do have a builder freed up because my gold vault successfully leveled up to level four. So what we're going to be doing with our free builder is while we're waiting for the troops to finish, I'm going to be clearing a few of these rocks. I'll only be doing the really cheap ones and only be doing the rocks because they cost mana and I need my gold for leveling up stuff. Um, not a whole, huge amount of stuff, but just remove a few rocks. I believe if you remove three, then you get an achievement and most of these are fairly cheap and you will get gems from them as well. Obviously, you don't want to remove like the ones that cost 10,000 mana right at the start at least. Um, you will eventually be removing all these, but it's a really easy way to get some gems. And uh, I also earned an achievement for leveling up my gold storage. Uh, but anyway, we'll go ahead and grab this achievement here. Gold Vault reaches level 4, so that's another 15 gems. And I should be getting an achievement for uh, clearing out some walls. or I have to clear 5 obstacles. I thought it was 3. So I'll clear 2 more, as long as there are 2 more fairly cheap ones. There's a fairly cheap one, and I'll do this one as well. And that will give me some more gems that will be used on hero rolls pretty soon. I want to save up enough gems to do two hero rolls at once, just to kill two birds with one stone. So there is another achievement done. Only five gems, but it's still decent. As soon as I clear 15, there's a few more. Okay, so everything is all trained up. I have my uh, full contingent of 10 guardians. They, they take up two population space per guardian. So even though it says 20 out of 20, I only have 10. 
So let's go ahead and do our first multiplayer raid. It will deactivate my shield, but that's completely fine. That really doesn't matter. You will not get attacked very often, and even when you are, it's not really a huge loss. So as you can see, when you very first start out, when you're at very low might, like when you very first start out the game, the bases you will be raiding uh, will not be very good. This base actually looks like someone uh, logged on and then actually never really did anything with it. Um, so I will have to drop down some troops here, drop down my frost switch as well, and uh, my frost switch will level up after completing this, so she'll probably get to like level 3 or 4, um, because you do get some XP on your healers, uh, for, or your heroes that is, from doing some of these uh, kind of multiplayer raids. And I'll also get a decent amount of gold and a decent amount of mana from defeating this base, which is going to be really nice. And you see how easy this is? Most of the bases I'm facing when I first start off will be very easy. And that's the main reason I didn't want to uh, get up my might, because I'll be facing some incredibly easy bases. It's a really easy way to level up my hero, and I won't meet much resistance, so I won't lose many troops, so I won't have to wait for the troops to train to get them back, and I will not have to wait for my hero to revive, because my hero will not be dying. Um, so we get that very quickly, and we will also get an honor badge from doing this. Uh, again, those are important. Later on, you will get more honor badges as you start to attack higher level bases. But that raid went pretty well. 120 XP. Again, it's a really low level base, so you don't expect a whole lot. And uh, 9k of both gold and mana and an honor badge. So now if we look at this hero, I, she should be a few levels up. So she actually went all the way to level 5 because I only used one hero. All of the uh, XP went straight to her. So that's pretty nice, and uh, I also went up to 199 gems because I cleared, as you can see here, quite a few of the uh, more gold ones. I only cleared the ones that were 500 or 1,000 gold. Everything that's left costs 5,000 or 10,000. And um, so we did complete our daily goal. Every single day you'll get a goal to steal a certain amount of gold or mana from other players, and that's a free 20 gems when you do that. So it's nice to do a couple raids. It usually won't take more than like you know two or three raids to get that, depending on what you're at and also I got the achievement for clearing obstacles here so that's fairly nice and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually going to fight in the arena because you also get a daily reward for fighting in the arena so it's a good idea to do that and we're gonna fight like the weakest character here and what you can do is you can drop down all your heroes in the arena and uh, hopefully this guy is someone who just created an account and never actually used it so he will only have like one level one hero uh, so our level five hero should be able to tear into pieces pretty quick it's a pretty simple PvP system. Oh, he's actually level 25, so um, this battle is not going to go very well. He had quite a low ranking for a guy who's apparently trained his hero a little bit. Anyway, um, we still should be able to get him down. I will. Right, we'll, we should be able to lose this relatively easily again. Um, but that doesn't matter because the main reason I started the arena battle um, was to just get the quick little daily gem reward, uh, which is always nice. And I believe we can just exit out of this, and we should have it. I suppose not. Okay, so I actually have to go through a full arena battle. Um, or I have to go through 10 arena battles, my bad. Um, so that's quite a few more than I thought. And I believe you can do five at a time. Uh, yeah, four battle chances, but they refresh pretty quickly. And uh, 28 minutes, I'll get another five chances. But I can raid like four more times. And um, whether I win or lose isn't terribly important. All that is going to change is the arena ranking as well as hero badges. So this one went a lot better. This was kind of what I was hoping that the uh, first battle would go like. Um, I just come across a guy with a level 1 executioner. For the most part, when you start off this game, you will start out with an executioner. That's the most common hero, although I do believe it's possible to start out with other heroes. But every single account I've ever created has started out with an executioner. So I'm not... 100% sure exactly how that works, but anyway, uh, my guys will just bash down the enemy's little base here, and then I should win this, and I'll be at 2 out of 10 battles in the arena for the day, and if I do the rest, I will get um, my daily reward, as well as there is an achievement for doing 10 battles, or I believe, it might be winning 10 battles, I know for a fact there's one for winning and one for losing, um, so for the most part, you want to prioritize some of these achievements, like as soon as I get level 4 town hall, I'll get a few more gems and then I can use those on hero rolls. So if you're looking for another thing that you can do early on in game, because there are a few more things that are kind of going to become more prominent later in game, such as for example the quest board, which is actually really awesome, but you don't get that till level 7 town hall, and uh, defending your village from raiding, and that is also a great thing to do, but you can't do that till later. Uh, you can clear dungeons in addition to raiding. Okay, so you have to clear out the first, I believe, five dungeons to get the first achievement. 
So let's go ahead and go for this first one here. It should be pretty easy, even though I have a relatively low level force. Look at this, they have like four of the little swordsmen to uh, stop me here. I don't think they're going to put up much of a resistance. So we'll just drop our Frost Queen and uh, drop all of our Guardians at once. We'll get like 150 gold, 150 mana, which is pretty terrible admittedly, but don't worry. Those will go up in time and get better and better as you uh, increase in the dungeons. And so um, also these give you XP for your hero. Um, they're, I would say, comparable to the XP that you get from raiding other players. So it may or may, may not be worth it. The main reason why you want to do dungeons is actually because as you go through the dungeons, you see that I have like three little fires here. That shows the amount of dungeons that I've completed. Kind of like a star system, you get a one star for doing 50%, two for, I'm really not sure how you get two to be honest, and then three is 100%ing. So you need these fires to upgrade your heroes later on. Um, I believe to get it to uh, get your hero past level 20, you need 10 fire, and then to get it past uh, level 40, you need 75 or uh, 20 or something like that, I forget. We'll get to that point eventually. So we'll go ahead and do the second dungeon here. Just drop, we actually will be fighting a hero and a tower this time, so it might be a little bit more difficult. This hero is only level three though, so my uh, Frost Witch should be able to carve through him pretty quickly. Get a little bit more gold for this, and I do need some more gold for the next town hall level, but I'll probably just do a raid off camera or something to actually get that gold done. Um, so again, this dungeon is fairly easily, you know, I don't need to worry too much about dungeons quite yet as I don't have my heroes to the level where the dungeons are really required quite yet. But we'll just finish this one off and uh, as long as I raid a couple more dungeons, I should get myself that achievement. So just a few last things before we end off here. Um, I should be able to build another hero base so I can actually now use that executioner hero in battle as well as I have a couple more achievements to claim. I'll claim the Mana Vault Reaches Level 4 achievement, and I'll also claim the Town Hall Reaches Level 4 achievement, so that'll get me a few more gems. I'm up to 266. I will not be spending any gems until 300, and so that'll have to happen next episode. But I actually get to slap the hero down, and I get to use this Executioner in raids and stuff, and I'll actually get to level him up as well, which will make him stronger. Anyway, that's about all for this one. Um, I will be doing some raiding and stuff. I will also be upgrading this Town Hall. So hopefully the next time I'm back, I should be a lot stronger and uh, ready to take on some tougher challenges. That's all for this one, so farewell.